Hey guys, it's Tab from FreeFly. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to our configurator, uh, our graphical user interface here. Uh, this is on a Nexus 7 tablet. So in the last step we connected to it. Uh, I'm going to walk you through and show you the different menus, the different options, and how this uh, system overall works. So there's three main, main panels. There's the configuration panel, there's a terminal. Terminal is used for troubleshooting and debugging. Uh, most times you won't need it. Um, and then there's chart. The chart allows for live wireless graphing of a variety of uh, parameters that are being transmitted from the Mobi to the tablet. So it's really helpful for some things in setup and tuning and that kind of thing. Configuration is where we'll do all of our changes. This is where we'll define all the parameters of the Mobi that will allow us to change the way the Majestic mode feels, the way the Majestic mode is acting, uh, the various tunings. Um, It'll allow us to define the way that the remote operator station feels and works for a variety of different setups from long lens to high action scenes where you need very, very fast pan and tilt rates. Um, settings also where we'll be able to uh, change from handheld to multi-rotor mode, things like that. So that's kind of an overview of the GUI. There's uh, status, site, status windows over here that tell us important facts about the gimbal. Uh, status running, compass good, radio, LOS, that means the radio, the remote transmitter is not connected right now. GPS good, so we've, uh, we've got good satellite lock even though we're indoors right now. Drive good, IMU good. These are all just status reports and telling us important information about the Movi. Um, we've got temperature, voltage, satellites, time it's been active. Um, just a host of information that we thought might be useful to you in one form or another. Uh, so we'll get into tuning this and setting it up for a particular shot next.